Welcome to today's event honoring the class of 2020. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Vicente Arteaga and I'm the newly elected student body president. I know that the last two months have been far from normal. However, I want to formally congratulate the class of 2020 and thank the staff and the community for their continued support of the students. Here's to the senior class and their success today, tomorrow, and forever. Once a Viking, always a Viking. Hello, my name is Aubrey Khan, and it is my pleasure to present an award of appreciation and a gift basket from the class of 2020 to one of the best student advocates I have had the pleasure to work with with the past four years. Ms. Anderson, I want you to know how much the students in your class appreciate all the ways you help us be successful. Students in your class appreciate all the ways you help us be successful in our classes. Your ability to see the needs of each student and ensure we are all given the same opportunities as every other student in the classroom has given a true gift. Vell High School will miss you, but all of us want to wish you the best of luck even though you will not need it. As you start your new role in the Vell High School District as the new middle school principal and special education director, congratulations to you on your new journey. We can't wait to see all of the great ways you lead next year. I'll miss you. In these trying, turbulent, tumultuous times of difficult, unprecedented national and global challenge, we must stick together to beat this crisis as one. Aren't we all tired of hearing that? These sentiments, while perfectly well-meaning, are of little consolation to all the seniors that were looking forward to one last spring sports season, one last club trip, one last celebration all together as a class. Nevertheless, here we are. We finally did it. I know it feels cheap to have done all this work only for it to end like this, in uncertainty. I know this is not how we wanted to end this chapter of our lives, but life is like that sometimes. And you're not gonna wanna hear it, and I certainly don't, but maybe we'll be all the better for it. The class of 2020 will understand more than anyone that life is so very extremely unfair. We all fought so hard for 13 years to get here, to get to the only constant promise in our lives, that we will graduate and be celebrated like so many before us, and then to be able to move on to the next phase of our lives with certainty. It feels like a rug has been pulled from under us. Suddenly, all those promises are gone. It may feel like we're going out with a, with a whimper rather than a bang like expected, but as a class, we will learn to predict life's unpredictabilities and find ways to cope. The class of 2020 is resilient. We take our blows and we move forward. There will be countless other times for celebration in our lives, and we will know not to take them for granted. 
Life continues no matter what. We continue. Uncertain times face us, but I have confidence that we will make it through. We will still go to college, join the military, enter the workforce, whatever. Not as previously planned per se, but as is necessary. We have the choice to continue. I have been looking forward to this moment pretty much since kindergarten. It has always been my goal to be a valedictorian, to stand in front of my whole class and say all the things I've wanted to say my whole school career. Maybe I'm just a hopeless romantic, I don't know. But now here I am, and I will not let some virus ruin my moment. We all have the choice not to let these circumstances ruin our moments. We can still take them. We can still fight for them. We will live because we choose to live. Only we have the power to decide how we handle roadblocks in life and how we move forward. So to all my classmates, whenever you may watch this, let's take all that 2020 has thrown at us and turn it into our future successes. Hello, everyone. Thank you for all coming to Vail High School's Class of 2020's graduation. Hope you are all in good health and that this pandemic has not affected your life severely in any way or form. First, I would like to congratulate the other valedictorians and salutatorians, including Sydney Bulliard, Alexis Rogers, and Amber Tolman. Second, I would like to thank everyone who taught and assisted me throughout my high school education. I would not have achieved this valedictorian honor without them. I want to give special thanks to Mr. Sheffield, Mr. Houston, Ms. Steele, Ms. Schaefer, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Snook, Ms. Fuller, Dr. Folk, and Ms. Settlemeyer for going above and beyond their roles as teachers to help me perform the be to the best of my ability. Without the extraordinary effort these individuals put, individuals put forward, I would not be with these incredible academic skills I have today. On another note, I would like to specifically thank Mr. Snook for recognizing that the sins of the mother are not the sins of the son and giving me a fair chance despite my mother's previous actions. Most importantly, I want to give thanks to my many friends and classmates who were with me throughout all this experience. I will forever remember their memories and I have, create, I have created with you all. I will never forget the fun times in class we had together as students, like when like observing Marco's and Mr. Houston's never-ending feud during chemistry, or playing super competitive trash ball in Ms. Folk's government class. Sports has also been a very essential part of my high school experience. I will always remember the football games my teammates and I played and the great celebrations we had after a hard-won victory in the locker room. I will also remember Jay Ham's miracle three-pointer shots in JV basketball, tackling Coach Eiler that one time in practice, and those incredible speeches Coach Aldra gave during halftime. I want to thank all my coaches and teammates for allowing me to be a part of these incredible experiences. Participating in the Vail Robotics Club for all four years was also an incredible part of my time at Vail High School. The memories of winning Skills USA for robotics and with my robotics team and competing alongside them at the World Championship in Kentucky will forever be ingrained in my mind along with the haunting of the Robotics Club by the vengeful robot Watson. May he rest in pieces. I would like to offer the greatest thanks to my grandparents. Without them, I would have never been able to come to this great school. I have learned many life lessons that I will forever keep in my heart thanks to them. Unfortunately, I know that many of you who are watching this today will have been affected by the ongoing pandemic. To those who have lost friends and family to its grasp, you have my condolences. However, despite these trying times, we will prevail as always. This is not the end, but merely a trial in our lives. So fellow classmates of Fayel High School, I want to tell you that if we face trials of any kind with strength and fierce determination. We shall come out of it not only victorious, but stronger than before. Keep your chin up and take the good from the bad. If we remember who we are, where we come from, and what we are here to do, we will always come out on the end stronger and more prosperous. Thank you for your time.
Hello, it's me, Amber Tolman, the Vail High School Class of 2020 Salutatorian. I know that it has been an eventful year and we may not be finishing off our high school career traditionally. However, this is a time to focus on how far we have come in the place we call home. We live in such a loving and caring community, a community that can conquer anything together, and for that I am beyond thankful. My class welcomed me with open arms when I first moved here in the fourth grade. Since then, we have grown into friends and pretty decent adults. We walked into Vail High School together with a bad reputation, which I do admit we are one of a kind class, but we are finally walking out of this school after working our butts off with the ability to accomplish great things. As each of us experience walking across the stage, I hope you hear the song, Hey Look Mama Made It, repeat in all your heads as we walk thankfully through this moment that some of us have been waiting for since we were born. As I stand here on this stage, I soak in all of the memories from this gym, these school buildings themselves. I want to thank the generations before us, the staff that led us, and the future classes for keeping this amazing place alive. Here, we often talk about Viking pride and tradition. In Mrs. Steele's junior English class, we wrote a poem about legacies and tradition. I thought I would include mine at this time. As I gaze into the treasure trophy cases and the years upon years of graduated class picture frames in the Vail High School hallways, first it is the accomplishments of various programs, and then it looks like the signif significance of tradition from generations of small town families. And then I look deep into the trophy cases in the class picture frames in the Vail High School hallways, and now it is the smell of sweet success and sweat from competition. And now it is it is the fancy old hairstyles and dusty smiles shining. And now it is the giggling while taking a walk down memory lane. And now I'm proud to be a Vail Viking knowing that I can keep the heartwarming legacy alive by applying my successes on display just like generations before me. Let's take a moment to be proud to be a Vail Viking and to graduate from Vail High School. I'm honored to be able to say that I walked across this very stage this moment is extremely important to my classmates and I. A moment that we thought impossible is now happening. So here it is to the class of 2020. Thank you for all the connections and amazing memories. The new friendships and wild adventures from volleyball trips to setting up for dances to assemblies to math competitions to basically living in the office in Mr. Houston's room to taking naps in Mr. Snook's office and talking to Mrs. Barris and hers about the most random things. My all-time favorite memory is making my ASB video last year with Mr. Houston and getting my fingernail blown off in a cool but safe experiment. If there's anything I've learned from Vail High School, it is not to let Mr. Houston be in charge of fire and to always, always be involved and allow my comfort zone to expand. As I end, I would like to thank my family for supporting me through this journey. My coaches for pushing me to achieve greatness. My teachers for showing me that I am more and for being my favorite reason to learn. The amazing staff in this district, my work family, and of course this community that, is, that has shown me what true love is. I truly will miss watching, walking these halls, laughing with my favorite people and learning from the best educators. This is for sure one of the hardest goodbyes. This is it, class of 2020. We freaking did it. Now let's kick butt on our next, next adventures. Well, after 13 long and excruciating years of schooling, we made it here to this point. From being born in the recovery of 9-11 to getting the final days of our senior year stripped from us, we have had some very eventful lives. This year did not go anything like we had planned, but what in life ever does. We all imagine that moment where we walk across that stage and receive our diploma. But now it is so much different from us. But that's okay. We are creating our own memories unlike any other graduating class. So many of us, including myself, have been hung up on what should be happening rather than our, what a reality is at the moment. All we can do now is look ahead. We all have the future, whether it be college, work, trade school, or military. 
We have, we have a life ahead of us that is unique and exciting. Today we celebrate the past, present, and future. Let's enjoy what we have because this is a moment we will never get again. As we venture out into the world, we carry the memories we made in the halls of VHS. This place made us who we are. Vail High School will always have a special place in my heart. What I love the most about this place is that everybody finds a way to make the most of their situations. The community sticks together through everything. Support floods the streets of this small town and it has been so very evident throughout this entire situation. So many could have given up when times got hard, but instead the love and support just grew after everything was shut down two months ago. The love that the people have for each other is unlike any other I have ever experienced. And for that, I, along with many others, are grateful. This town has done so much for me in my 18 years of life, and I cannot wait to give it all back. As I stand here today and reminisce on what all has been, all I can do is smile. So many memories fill my mind. When walking in as a little freshie, I wasn't sure what, I wasn't sure what to expect. This place has shown me to step out of my comfort zone and be who I, be myself. I was a quiet little ninth grader when I came in, and now leaving, I am a confident high school graduate who knows that I can accomplish anything I set my mind to. It would not be that way without all the support I have gotten. Finally, I want to say thank you to my entire support system. Thank you to the staff of VHS. Y'all have continued to love and support me as I have made this journey through the last four years. Thank you to the friends who have become family, and a huge thank you to the biggest support system I have, my family. I don't know where I would be today without them. I would not be standing here giving this speech if it weren't for them pushing me to be my very best every single day. I love you guys more than you will ever realize. Above all, I want to say thank you to my class. We have endured some serious crap together and we have made some unforgettable memories. To leave you, I will say carpe diem. It is important to seize the day. I've always had to remember this as I continue through life. Don't let one bad day define who you are. Take the moment you are living now and enjoy it because you never know what could happen or what changes may come your way. If this year has taught me anything, it's that. Change can occur around any corner and, so and sometimes in the most unexpected ways. I will present a poem that I wrote my sophomore year called Suck the Marrow Out of Life that I felt was very relevant to these times. We all want to get as much out of life as possible. Make your life your own. Live your days as if it were your last. You never know when that day is going to come. Take risks and sometimes just do what you want. There are so many things that we can't control, but this is something we can. Do at least one thing every day that scares you. Then you will know when you are lying on your deathbed, taking your last breath, that you lived your life to the fullest. So here's to us, class of 2020. Thank you for taking this journey with me. I am honored to say I've walked by your side for 13 years. Congrats to all of you and good luck with the rest of your exciting lives. Members of the graduating class of 2020, Vail Board of Directors, Mrs. McBride, faculty, students, parents, guests, and friends. Although we are not able to all gather together to celebrate in person with all of the Vail High School graduating seniors, I would like to take a minute and recognize the seniors who have received academic and athletic awards and scholarships for 2020. I usually tell you at this time to hold all applause until I'm through announcing each category, but hey, you're in the comfort of your own home, or I hope you're in the comfort somewhere watching this video, so clap away anytime as the mood strikes. I will begin this presentation today by announcing senior members of the National Honor Society. Three graduates are recognized in today's ceremony by wearing the blue Honor Society stoles. To be eligible for Honor Society, a student must maintain a GPA of 3.5 or better. Their candidacy also considers service, leadership, and character. The members are Maximiliano Ayala Reyes, Brianna Beasley, Sydney Bulliard, Macy DeLong, Jacob Gravitt, Morgan Hager, Zudiah Hill, Matthew McBride, Isabel Phillips, Alexis Rogers, Anna Saunders, and Amber Tolman. 
Congratulations to these National Honor Society members. We are proud of your hard work and determination in keeping your grades at the level appropriate for membership and also for your leadership, service, and character. We applaud your accolades. As our graduates marched across the stage, you may have noticed three of the graduates were wearing medals that depict the branch of the military in which they have enlisted and will soon begin their service to our country. I would like to take a moment and recognize these graduates. Mackenzie Hart, United States Navy. Christopher Hines, United States Marines. Justin Dutcher, United States Army. Congratulations on this brave choice. We all wish you the best of luck and thank you for your future service to our country. Over the past 27 years, the Ag Advisory Committee Scholarship Fund has awarded 180 FFA Ag Science students with approximately $179,000 in scholarships through funds raised at the annual harvest auction and through cash donations. This year, seven Bell High School graduates received FFA scholarships totaling over $13,000. I will recognize each of these FFA scholarship recipients when I recognize each graduate and their individual scholarship the students have already earned. Congratulations to these FFA members for their hard work and dedication to this great program. For the past 13 years, students graduating from Vail High School have been the proud recipients of a scholarship from the Donald and Mildred Wood Trust Memorial. This year's recipients have been informed of their award, and I will recognize them during the individual scholarship recognition in a moment. Due to the COVID-19 shutdown, the Vail High School Alumni Committee was not able to interview and select students for the alumni scholarships yet. However, I do know the interviews have now been scheduled, and we look forward to hearing of which graduates are the lucky recipients of our alumni's generosity. Due to the diligence of our Bell School District No. 84 Board of Directors, in conjunction with the district leadership team and their participation in several hours of professional development and workshops, we are pleased to be able to offer the Promise Scholarship once again this year. Recipients of this award will be announced in the individual scholarship recognition. At this time, several of our graduating seniors have applied for many scholarships, but due to the closures across the nation, notification of these scholarships, grants, and or tuition waivers have not yet been awarded. However, it is now my pleasure to recognize those graduates who have been informed of scholarships and awards at this time. Keeping in mind, we know the list of scholarship recipients is certain to grow in the next several months. Jocelyn Alvarez, Drex and Irene Williams Scholarship. Brianna Beasley, Wood Family Trust Scholarship, Vail School District Board of Directors Promise Scholarship, David Van Lith Memorial Scholarship, Eastern Oregon University Scholarly Award, Eastern Oregon University Scholarly Need Award, SEOG Opportunity Grant, Viking Spirit Award, Sydney Bulliard. Boise State University GEM Scholarship, Schroeder Scholarship, Lana Andrews Scholarship, Viking Business Club Scholarship, Viking Spirit Award, Dutch Coasso Memorial Scholarship. Paloma Bueno, Vail FFA Foundation Scholarship, Oregon Promise Award, Oregon Student Aid Scholarship, Justin Burig, Vail FFA Foundation Scholarship. Luis Cueto, Idaho Oregon Border College Fair Scholarship. Macy DeLong, Wood Family Trust Scholarship. Vail School District Board of Directors Promise Scholarship. Dutch Kawasso Memorial Scholarship, Viking Spirit Award. Jalissa Esquivel, Viking Business Club Scholarship. William Gonzalez, Viking Business Club Scholarship. Morgan Hager, Wood Family Trust Scholarship. 
Vail FFA Foundation Scholarship, University of Portland Oregon Success Award, University of Portland Arthur Schultz Scholarship, Pheasants Forever Conservation Scholarship, Oregon Promise Award, Lori Eiler Memorial Award. Demaya Hardin, VEA Union Scholarship. Zadiah Hill, Eastern Oregon University Scholarly Need Award, Eastern Oregon University FBLA and Bimart Scholarship, Viking Business Club Scholarship, Crawford Scholarship. Matthew McBride, Vail FFA Foundation Scholarship, Willow Creek Community Scholarship, Oregon Fairs Foundation Scholarship, America's Farmer Grow Ag Leaders Scholarship, Blue Mountain Community College Baseball Scholarship, Wood Family Trust Scholarship, Vail School District Board of Directors Promise Scholarship, Northwest Farm Credit Services Scholarship, Producers Livestock Scholarship, Dutch Kawaso Memorial Scholarship. Blake Reed, Vail FFA Foundation Scholarship, VEA Union Scholarship. Alexis Rogers, Wood Family Trust Scholarship, Wood Grain Scholarship, Albert Benjamin Clement Scholarship, Schroeder Scholarship, Viking Business Club Scholarship, Dutch Kawaso Memorial Scholarship, Viking Spirit Award. Anna Saunders, Wood Family Trust Scholarship, Vail FFA Foundation Scholarship. Amber Tolman, Wood Family Trust Scholarship, Vail School District Board of Directors Promise Scholarship, Linkus Scholarship, Schroeder Scholarship, TVCC Foundation Douglas and Polly Green Scholarship, Oregon Promise Award, Oregon Opportunity Grant. Samantha Tolman, VEA Union Scholarship. Rachel Wolf, Vail School District Board of Directors Promise Scholarship, Vail FFA Foundation Scholarship. I would like to congratulate all graduating seniors in their pursuit of gaining scholarships to further their lifelong goals. Vail School District Number 84 Board of Directors, I am pleased to present to you the Vail High School Class of 2020. I certify to you that each of these seniors has fulfilled the requirements established by the Vail School District Number 84 Board of Directors and by the Oregon Department of Education for receipt of a regular, modified, or extended diploma. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present the graduating class of 2020.